Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Serrano. Welcome back to another video here to talk about the Alcatel C17 Pro after about six months of having it. Um, now we're going to talk all about this device. I'm going to break it down into a few categories and kind of break down this device right now where it was and where it is now and overall if how, how it's held up over the last six months. So in order to do that, we have to break down the price, the battery, the camera, um, the display, the specs, and basically determine how this thing is going to perform for the money. Can't get this device right now for $99 on eBay and AliExpress. You can get it for $99. If you go on Amazon, you can get it for $149. Now, the, the price that it was really originally was, was $149, which is a really good price. Now, um, you know, this thing has some materials which make it feel really good in the hand. Of course, it's not going to be made of glass or real glass right here, but you're getting this really solid color on the back of it, which looks, it's like a mirror red, uh, like a cherry red and um, has a really nice color to it. Now, the cameras on the Alcatel C18 Pro, they're claiming all four of them are gonna be real. These ones, you're only getting the 13 megapixel camera, um, which is gonna be real. And the five, face, uh, five megapixel camera on the front is actually really good, actually. When you're in really good lighting, it's, it actually has some good stabilization um, on it. And um, a little bit, I prefer it a little bit over the rear camera, but let me know what you guys think. Um, now, when it comes to this device, you are getting a 3,900 milliamp hour battery, which is basically a 4,000 milliamp hour battery. It's going to last you throughout the whole day. And um, that was my experience. In some cases, even two days, two complete days. And um, I didn't have any issues with the battery, it, it was actually even hard to kill this battery. Um, just using it through um, the whole entire day, it was almost impossible to kill in one day unless you were just gaming on it, you know, like throughout the whole day. But um, the overall build quality is nice. You got this ambient sensor up top. You do get a um, volume rocker here power button right beneath it. None of it is textured, which is okay. Now you do get type C charging, which I like. Microphone down below. Speaker right here, which is a little bit tinny, but it's perfectly fine volume wise. And you do get the SIM ejection tr uh, tray right here on the side. Now, um, now this device does have a nice solid, a nice size at 6.4 inches or 6.35 inches but it's a really tall device um now you can see we have that punch hole cut out right here on the front um which is going to be really nice to look at especially with different wallpapers put my fingerprint and then you can see you have that nice punch hole cut out with a nice 720 display um now this display looks really good first of all it's a 720 display um so it's basically um uh, ips display 720 times 1560 pixels overall it's a really nice display to look at especially when you put a nice wallpaper on it um what's backing the phone is the p23 processing chip now, this processing chip is the MT6763V processing chip, which is suitable for, you know, Call of Duty, for, um, not Fortnite, but PUBG, um, any other game like that. You, you might not be able to play like NBA 2K, but you could play NBA Live perfectly fine. I might be wrong about that. I'm about to try to see if I could play NBA Live on um, 2K on this, but... Um, it just has a snappy interface and software to it. Um, it's Android 9 software, so it's not the newest one, 
but it does have a really nice feel in my hand overall if, if I had to um, use this phone every day if I had no other option and I had to use this device um, every single day of the week I wouldn't have a problem doing that if that this was my only choice so it's a really nice um, piece of hardware, but as you know, I do have options of other of phones I could use other than this one. Now, because this processing chip is 16 nanometers, which is really budget, it's going to perform um, kind of average. It's not going to be something that you're going to be trying to play your high, highest graphic intensive games. This is a simply a phone that you can get through the whole day extremely good battery life um some decent cameras for just catching a quick photo of you know like maybe a building or like something some scenery but not something you would take on vacation unless you're like a kid and it's got a good cpu at two it's clocked in at 2.0 gigahertz which is going to be really really fast and that's a really good clock speed um for any phone and um, the memory option for this device is superb. You're getting 64 um, gigabytes of internal storage with this one, plus an additional uh, four gigabytes of um, memory. So uh, that combination is actually really nice because um, whenever you get more than two gigabytes of memory, um, when you have the Android system, it kind of, um, equates to a really good um, software performance um, now we are getting micro SD card expansion on here up to you know a gigabyte which is really cool a, ter a terabyte not a gigabyte a terabyte uh, which is about a hundred gigs and um, you know this device does have um, a 271 pixels per inch which is actually in uh, plenty color and um, vividness to my naked eye you know i can't see the pixels looking at it i wouldn't really try to but everything looks really nice on this display um as far as the color brightness color accuracy and the punchiness of the display you're getting that really quick fingerprint sensor that they're offering and facial recognition that they offer which is really fast as well it works in the dark as well so there's no issues with the facial recognition or security. Um, and like I said, you're, um, you're getting some decent security with that facial recognition as well. Um, it works pretty much 90% of the time. It, there's not really a time where, you know, I'm really having a hard, a belly ache or a hiccup with that thing. But, um, you know, the only thing I can really say is you're with, when you pay around $100 for a phone or lower, you can't really expect um, too many upgrades from the from the, the manufacturer because um, they don't really make too much money off of these phones to begin with. So for them to invest more money into software updates for these lower budget devices is more of a headache or a hassle. But um, I'm going to check and see if we do have a wireless update right now. And we're going ahead and just to make sure um, it does say that the device is up to date right now, currently. So uh, we'll just check to see if what the latest patch of this device was before before I just checked. And currently, this device is running on October 2019, which is a little bit old at this point. So, um, like I said. I wouldn't have a problem using this thing as my daily phone if I had to use it. Um, it gets the job done. It has a really nice performance for the price. And um, after six months of using this thing, I can't complain about it for what I paid. So um, if you have the Alcatel C17 Pro, let me know. Um, they have the C17 18 Pro coming out, which is going to pretty much be a bigger display for about an inch bigger. Now they said that they had the Android 9 software. I'm not sure if they're getting the Android 10 on the 18 Pro, but um, it's not too much of a big upgrade because um, you know the processing chip is still MediaTek, it's still similar to this one in many ways. Same battery life, 
Um, they do. They did upgrade the cameras to the 16 megapixel. I did see. So this one has the 13 megapixel. So they probably um, and they did offer those updated cameras on the 18 Pro. So um, I might check that thing out. I don't know, but um, this device is really cool. Let me know down below what you think about the C17 Pro. Um, the fact that they lied to us about these cameras, uh, these two secondary cameras, um, you know, it's, then you have a, a sensor right here for flash, I, I believe. And um, I mean, the camera performs decent, you know what I mean? It's not gonna be the craziest uh, um, camera you've ever seen before. But for the price, this camera is actually pretty good. And you will be able to get the job done with this thing. I mean, has some decent low light quality, but nothing uh, spectacular, decent software. You, like, you know, like I said, it's gonna be able to record wherever you are. And I'm in low light right now and it actually looks fine and on here, but uh, all around, I would say that for a budget device of $149, I mean, you can't really expect too much from it other than what it's offering here on the table. But like I said, hopefully you guys found this video helpful. This is the C17 Pro after about six months. And let me know your experience with it down below. Leave a note in the note section, comment section, and I'll check you guys later. But in the meantime, have a great morning, afternoon, evening, and depending on where you are, later crew, have a great night. Peace.